Well hello everybody, so it's Peter here down in the old man shed, it's uh, Saturday afternoon, half past four, uh, quite cold, it was very cold this morning, in actual fact South East London was forecast uh, that we would have snow, uh, that didn't happen as it, it, it uh, was just rain, and uh, that's now passed over now, uh, yeah but it was very cold, I thought we might have had snow, but we didn't, so that's good, um, yeah in the shed, got the heater on it's very pleasant nice and toasty uh, I've come down here when I play trains uh, before I actually start them running on the layer I would have the heater on for a little while there's always something I could be tinkering with you know getting ready before I start running trains and that gets the uh, the shed up to temperature a bit makes it a bit bearable so that's nice um, so right what's been happening well as you see, coming out the tunnel any second now is the, the 6th Hatton's 66 that I've got myself and the uh, Freightliner livery running absolutely superbly now uh, did it run out of the box? then this one Peter well no, of course it didn't <laughs> I mean that's, uh, that's 6 now, this is the 6th logo and not they've all needed attention none, you know, none of them run out of the box if it wasn't for the fact I can believe Susanna I, I wouldn't believe that any of them run out of the box you know it's uh, just impossible the way these actual boxes are they don't line up so if you haven't got the wobble it's because Mei Ling in the factory has done took a little bit of extra care when she stuck the actual boxes on and you've been very very lucky so go and play the lottery alright but um uh, just reinforce it with a little bit more glue around the shoulder, all right? Don't rely on the uh, on the glue they use because until they are wearing in, the weight of that loco is sitting on all those actual boxes, and uh, you will get the odd one pop off. Otherwise, if you don't make them stronger, I didn't. Obviously, I've done my usual. I ran it out the box on the nine volt battery on the rolling road, and yes, it had a wobble, so I snapped them all off put it back on the rolling road and it was running sweet so cleaned up the axle boxes a lot of glue around the edges of the of these little axle boxes as well they don't just end up sticking them on the end they somehow rather get get glue down the side well at least I did because I didn't have Mei Ling put mine together you know I'd probably have Mei Wong put mine together and uh, she loses a lot of glue anyway at least they weren't stuck to the axle boxes that was good so I did my usual cleaned them up opened up the holes in the side frame stuck them all back carefully together and the result is well here she comes now running absolutely sweet but I think that's it now I've got six um, I've got the two special liveries here obviously the CMEX and the the large loco British Rail the other ones are the you know normal run of the mill it's like the Freightliner there's a GBRF one over there a DRS one and obviously the DB Schenker red one so you know that's it uh, I'm not interested in Biffa or the uh, yellow freight or the orange freight line or, or, or what is it, the pink one? You know, they, they look right, but yeah, not for me. Um, so that's it. So there's, that's, that's, that will be stick with a six for now, unless they come up with some outrageous livery. Who knows? But yeah, so um, now what else is good? The layout, is, I'm pleased to say, as you can see, is running absolutely sweet even though it's been cold come down here warm the shed up run the trains I've got that track stuff that I use that Inox MX3 and I think uh, the last time I put a track rubber to this layer was possibly over three months ago it's literally brilliant it puts a coating on the rails and that coating just goes everywhere it, be it on the, uh, the locos wheels be it on the wagons wheels I've not had to clean anything it doesn't do it any harm I mean it doesn't build up like normal residue you know like the normal uh, uh, residue that you would get from normal running the trains it just doesn't build up so you never get any wobbling of the wagons because they haven't got enough rubbish on the wheel sets to, to cause it. it it always just sets stays just that moist and um, what I do every now and then I have to just clean the track if I want to and the way you do that, and there's the rubber, look, you think you say, oh god, that's terrible. That's, just a, that's a cloth put around the track rubber that is then sprayed with the Enox. 
and you literally just put it on the thing and you rub it. it, it, it well, don't rub, you just run it along. There's no pressure involved whatsoever. And then the dirt gets absorbed into your cloth, so you keep changing your cloth. And you can wash it, there's no reason to wash it, but otherwise you just literally just line it along, you know, and that's it. And it puts fresh stuff on. The train and the wagons comes along, picks up the fresh stuff, and that takes it round the west of the layer. I've not, underneath the, uh, the, the top uh, estate there, I haven't seen, that, those tracks haven't seen light of day in uh, months. And I used to try and get in there with um, the old track rubber on the end of an arm. You know, I've got that um, track cleaning device, got that one, yeah? And I used to get in, you know, as far as I could into the tunnels there to try and get to the curves in, underneath that uh, top estate there. And uh, don't bother now. Hasn't been done in three months or so, whatever it is so when I started using it. It's brilliant. But I don't have anything with traction tyres. So, because it evidently it does ruin the rubber on a traction tyre. So, sorry to get you excited just to let you down again, but there you are. Um, what else? This, what I've, there's a guy who's making 3D um, models and he's, he's modelled the wing mirrors for the Backman 60s. The Hatton 60s, the freight, uh, not the freight liner, the their EWS, of which I don't have any, but certainly my DB Schenko comes with wing mirrors. And this guy has 3D printed wing mirrors so that you can stick them to your own uh, backmans. So I'll just show you. I've got uh, this is a this is a Backman 66, and this one's had the illuminated models, and the light unit. So when this when this is on the track, it'll have all four lights on. But can you see on the uh, the, the side the we the mirrors? Obviously, at each end there's four tiny little things, very delicate. Uh, obviously, lucky enough, I've got the EWS paint, and I've even got the DB Schenker red paint, so they've been painted up in the EWS brown. And there we are. So that now looks just as good as the Hattons when you see them side by side. Apart from the brightness of the uh, LED lamps that's on the backmans, you would never know that that's not a Hattons running around because who looks closely at the axle boxes, you know? Especially if you're looking at what, you know, your layout's bigger than mine, you wouldn't notice. So, go. Okay. So, um, let me show you the DB Schenker and I'll show you what they look like side by side because in the engine shed, I've got the two together. Well, there you are. So, we've got the backman on the left and the Hattons on the right. So. But there you are. Now, now that this now that this one's had the four lights done, because that's how they run in, in the real world now, which is great, because it got rid of those little white marker lights that were painted. Now you have all the four lights on, which is prototypical. Uh, the Hattons one, the lights aren't as bright. The top headlight is bright. The other ones, because they have to go through, um, I suppose, light tubes, whatever you call them, you know, in order to get to the lenses you know whereas these ones the, the the leds are right behind the lamps so they're a lot brighter but you know no reason not to have them uh, running side by side i think they look quite good no no reason why not and yeah there's the uh, the wing mirrors and as i said i've got the um the shanker red as well so that's been painted up to match the loco and obviously the backman comes with them fitted as part of their detail so um but there you are no reason not to be able to run them side by side so not getting rid of any backmans I can run them together but there we are so I thought you'd like to see that so that I can't think of the guy he's on Facebook he's in one of the modeling forums and he makes little 3d printed well lines other other stuff as well not just the wing mirrors he does all sorts of bits and pieces but um, yeah very small very fiddly stuck on with uh, PVA you know card glue they're not super glued on uh, so if uh, they're not they're not um, strong but that's fine because if they take a knock they will come flying off but there'd be absolutely no damage whatsoever to the paintwork of the loco so if ever you need you know one day if ever you decide you've had enough of them or they're just too much of a nuisance I mean they don't come off coming around the track or anything you just got to be careful handling them you know which I am so uh, they won't come off 
I'm, I'm the one who's put them on there, so I'm, I know that they're there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so PVA, it's uh, it's white to begin with, but dry is transparent, so you can't even see. I don't know. That's got. There we are. That's better. It really, really comes out quite good. Is that kind of focus on there? Da -da -da. No, is that too much? There we go. Right, well, so that's not bad. There we are. As I put all my bits and pieces on, I put my name plates on and things like that with PVA because uh, it doesn't damage the paint if ever you have to take it off. So it's strong enough to stick stuff, but it's not permanent and it won't do any damage. Okie dokie, so that's that. Right, okay, so that'd be it. Um, until I come up with something else to show you, if there's any um, uh, work that needs carrying out that I feel I can pass on to you guys, um, I think that's it really. There's nothing else to be built. Report. Um, I've got no storyline to show you, I'm sorry to say. Unlike Cecil B. D. Allen, you know, the new uh, Oscar nominated uh, script writer that he is, what with his um, Killing the Vicar. I don't know where you I, I did. I did love the idea that um, the old vicar was copping the feel, Alan, before he got shot. That was um, that was quite funny. But uh, yeah, TV TV uh, detective programs are not the same now, Alan. After seeing your storyline, you know, you had to apply for the job, and uh, you know, you're up there now with uh, Dave of Dave Trains. You're, you're all becoming uh, maybe that's the thing. And Tony of Tony North Eastern, I, I, well, I get worried when he does his storyline about misses somebody or other. He, I don't know how he gets his voice too high. It, it, it really makes me worried that he, you know, tries to make that voice. Oh dear. And uh, I think even Roberts, Roberts train sets, yeah. He's done it before now, and he little figures, little cars moving. And I think I did it once for about 30 seconds. And the trouble is, for that 30 second film clip, it took probably all day to try and film it. Bloody nightmare. But uh, yeah, so is that is that what we're coming to now then, is it? If it's not going to be um, cookery whilst watching trains, which is what I keep suggesting to Robert, because he keeps saying, he keeps telling us what he's had to eat and what he's having to drink and this, that and the other in between these film clips. Is <laughs> but he doesn't show us. I said to him, make it a cookery, cook, you know, cookery with trains, Robert. Um, yeah, I suppose it's, we could all do it, can't we? Yeah, so that's the only thing I haven't done. I haven't done a storyline. Uh, don't, don't be. Well, I'm just looking at all the little figures there. My gosh, I've got, I've got, to, I've got to cast the characters up and use, can't I? But no, that's it. All right, so stay, uh, stay, stay tuned, and there'll be lots of little video clips of the trains running, close-ups. To say, very 66 biased, I'm afraid. Next ones I'll get the uh, 37s out running, the noisy things. Um, but yeah, that's it. So uh, stay safe, people. It's uh, it's a crazier world out there at the moment, and it? it's it's really really serious. Um, let's just hope if we all get this vac vaccine, one day we can get together and meet up in a a, a, a railway model show. That'd be absolutely fantastic to. Uh, actually meet and greet some of you guys on YouTube that would be wonderful um, but until then take care and uh, this is Peter down in the man shed saying bye bye for now okay thanks for watching take care everybody bye